Hey everybody, it's Troy. I got a question from a customer who was asking, is it possible to create a, a typewriter effect in Camtasia? I took a stab at it. This is not perfect. Your mileage may vary, but here's what I got. Uh, I'll send you guys the link here to uh, my Dropbox and it will uh, ask you, uh, it's going to say, hey, I don't know what to do with this thing. Uh, you want to download it? And like, yes, yeah, let's download it. So it'll come in here, whether on Mac and Windows, it'll uh, go into your downloads folder. This is for 2021 of Camtasia. It won't work in 2019. And please hold on before you actually use it, because this, there's some details here that are important. Um, I'm going to uh, tell it to open. It will open in Camtasia. It's going to ask me where I want to put it. Um, if you use any of the libraries, um, you can choose a, a library that you've used in the past. Uh, let's just put it over here, fine, in the sunburst. And uh, it's going to uh, drop it over here into my sunburst library. Okay. So I've got this thing called the 60 point typewriter. <laughs> FX and it's important that 60 point uh, font plus there's more to it. Okay, uh, let's take a look at it real quick. It uh, it looks like this. Okay, also use please a 60 point courier or consolas or another fixed width font. Uh, the fixed width is really important. When you take a look at this thing, it is uh, both this text here and it is a grouping of a whole lot like 54 <laughs> little blocks on here um, each of these blocks eventually disappears um, two frames at a time and uh, let me go and close that out right uh, and close that out and uh, the reason that it works is because the font is fixed character meaning that the zero and the p and the t and the c and the space they all take up the same space so my blocks can actually cover stuff up effectively if you chose to modify it uh, first here's how you do it you just click in here and um, this is new text and it doesn't have to be long right um, it's still going to work and each one of these is uh, one line long so i can go copy and paste and i can put another one in here so um this one I'll just um, bring down uh, to new, right? And and you can see how they, they would work out like that, okay? So that's how they work. Now, uh, you also can click on this here. This is built in 2021. These are the quick property edits. You can go and make modifications to the text color. Um, I would not, please do not <laughs> change the horizontal space. I mean, you can, but I'm not sure it's going to work that great. And it really, really is built for 60 point. At some point in Camtasia, we might get uh, fancier to be able to support all kinds of font sizes and whatnot. And I, you can play with it. Play with it all you want uh, change it up. But I can tell you that if I do something like, let's try this font here, um, that the... The animation, you can see that it's, it's just not built for you know, the, the different fonts in there. But when I use the, um, when I use the fix width font, uh, once again, Courier, um, I think Courier New might also work. Consolas uh, definitely does. Yeah, you should be good to go. Sorry that was a little bit longer than you probably expected, uh, but thanks a bunch for watching and uh, welcome to the beauty of the libraries if you haven't used them before, as well as the uh, quick property assets, which in my mind are um, really awesome. They, uh, they're pretty fun stuff. Take care. Thanks.